Hey guys, it's Alexander here. Um, and I do apologize, I'm actually recording with my phone for this one uh, because I haven't figured out a way to really get the uh, the boot up to come up to a... or to be recordable on the computer. Uh, so normally doing a screen capture like I w would prefer. Can't do that. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a little thing here. I'm actually in the BIOS of my Asus computer. Um, as you can see here, now, again, this doesn't just apply to my computer. It applies to pretty much anyone else that's uh, trying to do an install uh, of Windows 8. Um, as you can see, unfortunately, I can't show you the boot menu because I already have mine installed. And Windows 8 is uh, designed with a secure boot, so that way people can't uh, break into your system in the way that you would normally reinstall an operating system. Now, obviously me saying that, doesn't affect anybody doing an upgrade. Uh, since you're doing an upgrade on a computer and you, what I mean by that is when you're installing a new hard drive in a solid state or, or a solid state into a computer, that new solid state is going to be 100% blank and it won't have Windows 8 limiting you in the fact that you, you know, they're going to block you from going into BIOS. It'll automatically go into BIOS and say, hey, there's nothing going on here. I'm kind of, you know, got nothing to boot up to unless you have a flash drive already plugged in with your recovery media or your fresh install um, DVD on a flash drive or a CD or whatever. Basically what I'm showing you guys in here specifically, on this boot override panel, uh, normally when you would go into uh, boot up devices and you would select uh, your flash drive, your CD drive, your hard drive, whatever, you'll notice this says UFEI colon and then the flash drive. Normally, it would just say it like this, and it would just say the flash drive's name itself. It wouldn't have any other additional information. Now, when you're doing a fresh install or a restore install, and you want to make sure that you install the operating system with UEFI, then you're going to make sure that you pick this one that says UEFI. That'll boot it into a UEFI mode, and then the operating system will install itself as so. If you select one without it, as such, there will be two of these, one without UFDI and one with. Uh, it will install it in a legacy mode, which reduces security. Um, again, a lot of people love the legacy stuff. It does, you know, it's worked for years and years. It is showing its age. Uh, with UFDI, it allows your computer to boot up faster, go to sleep faster, better battery life, better performance all around. Everything is just better. Um, so you'd want to probably install it like that. If you don't, then select the one without UFI. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to cover that really quickly. I made a little bit of a long video here just to cover that small little topic. Um, but yeah, just to get that out there so you guys will know that as well. Thank you.